So we are in the Great Brook Valley neighborhood and we are painting murals for Pow Wow Wooster 2019. This is the first time I've ever done a project this close to people's homes. I know Pow Wow has never really done a project quite like this. We're just trying to bring a little bit of color and life into the community. Here in Great Brook Valley we have approximately 900 units. The vast majority of our units are occupied by single moms with small children. So not only are we painting where these community members live, we're painting at the schools in which the kids attend. What I think is really cool about this powwow is that the locations of the murals seem to be in places where they're able to give back to the community a little bit more. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of kids. Even as I've been painting, people have been coming through like watching and asking questions and expressing interest and excitement. Traditionally, for working class or low-income residents, art isn't something that's particularly accessible. For a family to get to a local art museum, it costs money, transportation, and the art may not be quite as relatable to all demographics. What's important about this mural is that it's representation. That's why you, so you say you, know, you normally don't see it. If we was to come here and put a George Washington or a Frank Sinatra per se, they're gonna probably look at it and think it looks cool, but they're not going to relate to it at all. This community is probably the majority Latino and this is something that they see all the time. They see their mom, they see their aunt, probably their little sister. So it's very important for people to see representation in everything. So this is a very working class neighborhood and it's public housing. With that, you don't often think that that would be a destination for murals. I think a lot of murals end up finding themselves in maybe more gentrified areas. And so to bring the art to these people in this part of the world, in this part of the city, is extra special. And in a way, it's more powerful than putting it anywhere else. It's colorful, um, it has a lot of detail. The other ones are a little bit but my favorite one is this one. Watching it, it's actually kind of cool. I, I want to be an artist, and i never seen anything like it before. I'm glad that they chose our neighborhood instead of all the other ones. It's been uh, pretty amazing seeing the actual artwork and being created right in front of me. Me and my friend just spent like, what, an hour just walking around trying to find the art. It's absolutely amazing. People ask me what was my favorite thing about doing this, and I tell them it was the kids. I can't imagine me being their age and this happening in my neighborhood. How excited I would have been. I would have been here every day just like them. All while we were painting all week, it was like the community was such a part of it and like I had kids surrounding me the entire time. It was really fun. And I was able to actually show some of them like how to use a spray can and how to paint. And like a lot of them had never done that before. I think none of them had. You know, when you get into what art can do for you, you know, I, I don't view art simply as just drawing something. You know, when we talk about what art does for someone is it gets back to the imagination. You know, how much can you dream? Art, you know, it's a tool. Like for instance, I like to say that art saved my life. Me being like growing up on welfare and stuff like that, like the only thing I was good at was drawing. And look where it's gotten me. And these kids don't have any art programs. And it's just like, we need to see this more in our community as well. Public art shouldn't be an amenity. You know what I'm saying? It's for the public. To have this kind of community art that's created specifically for the community that it's created in is really an important piece, especially because Art is the type of thing that gets cut when finances go down in schools. So to bring that art into the community and have it surrounding people in a place where they otherwise might not see it is really important and it's engaging. Right here in Great Brook Valley, there's nearly a thousand kids who live here. A thousand kids now have the inspiration of great art to carry them through their day. 